You have lost. The circle is complete. No, Bellor, no! The Nidus, source of all my powers, has split into five parts. Bellor will be seeking the pieces too. We must find them before she does. You will see them only in reflection. One piece is ours, and Helen wears it on her necklace. Find the other four pieces of the Midas, and bring them to me. Where do you suppose we are this time? Your guess is as good as mine. It looks like pyjamas. Or an Indian sari. Well, we'll soon find out. Let's go this way. Or why not this way? Or do you always have to play follow the leader? Look, I'm not the leader, and I don't think it matters which way we go. At least not until we find some clue as to where we are. Then we'll go this way. Looks like Helen's made the decision for us. Welcome, my innocents. Welcome to the humble cave of Kadru. Where are we? My cave is near the wondrous city of Fatipur Sikri. Definitely India, then. I am Kadru, the holy man, the keeper of many secrets. Ah, oh, do you sleep on this? Indeed, oh brave one. It is my penance and my joy to do so. We seek a fellow traveler. Indeed. And is he a holy man like myself? Or a prophet? A prince or a pauper, perhaps? Uh, his name is, um, Rothko. A strange name. Indeed, it is one I've never heard before. Many people come to the cave of Kadru. You may wait for your honorable friend. Sit, sit. And I will play for my snake. But I fear he is most lazy after the three fat mice he has just eaten. <laughs> Trapped. You may soon leave. When? It is the custom to bear gifts for a holy man. You may leave when you have done so. We haven't got any gifts. You have a trinket about your pretty neck, my little one. No, it's not mine to give. But it is mine to take. Leave her alone. You must not meddle with the affairs of my mistress, oh brave one. Your mistress? <gasps> Bellow, quick, hold hands. <laughs> Use your willpower. Cease. Oh, master, great master. I'm only a humble servant. Mm, serpent would describe you better. Be held by stone, O oh, one of petty violence. I think perhaps a pig might have been more suitable for a servant of Bellor. Rothko? It is I. But call me Prince Sagara. And all this need not have happened had you been here on time. On time? How could we be on time? Nevertheless, time is of the utmost importance. You cannot imagine how vital every moment is, for I am about to be married. Married? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, I am most weary. I must rest by telling you. <laughs> I am wondering how a low-caste fakir can do this thing. It must be that he has a thicker skin than myself. 
Roscoe, come back. I am not going anywhere. You must understand I am in two places at once. It is very difficult. Where else are you? I am also in the temple of meditation in Fatipur Sikri. Meditating? That is what they think. It is the necessary ritual prior to marrying the Princess Angara. Uh, you should see her. Her looks are incomparable. But why getting married? Not because I wish to, you can be sure of that. Oh, no, 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 no. But only by a promise of marriage was I able to obtain this talisman, which you must now take, for it has great power over the Naga. What's the Naga? Merely a three-headed serpent that dwells in the Cave of Diamonds. A three-headed serpent? Uh, this is true, my friend. And why didn't you go yourself? I cannot take the time. Even now, I must hurry back to keep watch on the great mandala, which is kept in the Temple of Meditation. You must go to the Cave of Diamonds. There you must find the second portion of the Nidus. Use the talisman. It will show you. Now go. Please hurry. I must meditate on this matter. Tell me, Jakarna, keeper of the great Mandala, how long has he been here? For seven days and seven nights. Tonight, when the moon rises, he will come out and break his fast. Good. I have him. The great Mandala of Fatipu Sikri has wondrous powers, I understand. Its powers are beyond the understanding of mortals, but only for those who make the supreme sacrifice to the temple. What sacrifice? I wish to work through the power of the mandala. It would be far, far beyond your wealth. Nothing is beyond my wealth. I have gold and jewels in abundance, if that is what Such is needed. Such things are worthless. But there is one jewel older than time. Now, alas, it is in pieces. One fragment... I have such a fragment. My most precious possession. It is hidden in the cave of my servant, Kadru. It must be placed in the center of the great mandala. This I can do if that will give me all the power of the great Mandala. The power will be yours once you have made the sacrifice. But be warned. It holds no allegiance to the one who wields it. Stand back, Jakarna, and witness the ways of my power. Mistress will surely destroy me. Ah, it is as I thought. A third piece of the Nidus exists in this time. Placed in the mandala, Belor can tap its powers. I must. <laughs> Stand back, demon. I have powers beyond your knowledge. <laughs> you have no strength against Kumbakana. You are powerless in this place. Kumbakana, the giant of legend. I am he, the one that ate the rice piled higher than Mount Meru. It was seasoned with hundreds of buffalo and deer. And when the Rakasha tried to wake me after my meal by throwing rocks and trees against me, why, my very breath 
blew the missiles back at them. They had to drive thousands of elephants over me before I woke. And you have power over me. Ha 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 ha. Why? I'll crush you in the palms of my hands. Let the weight of mountains flatten you to dust beneath the feet of beggars. You were defeated once. You were defeated, and by the great ring of Rama, you will be defeated again. Which way now? The talisman doesn't glow much for either direction. And it doesn't matter which way then, does it? Of course it does. We don't have much time. Oh, come on, let's go this way. I must get the Nidus from the Mandala, or she will destroy me. Prince Agara. We have a little matter to talk over. Who are you? Surely you know who I am. But perhaps you need to see me as well. the book of destiny in which your wretched name appears. I have come to collect you to put my noose of time about your neck. Get me hence, Yama. My destiny goes further than your book and your noose. Nobody goes further than my noose. Foolish prince. I'm afraid it is, as you might say, the end of the line. Ariana, come to me, Ariana! Chant the secret name of Vishnu, the one name that can defy my power. Who oh, taught you these things? Forget, Belor. I have lived in all times and places, and I will always defy the princes of hell and of darkness. Be gone! <laughs> Hurry. Before all is lost. Look, it's glowing. We took the wrong turning. Hurry. Yeah, not we. Well, we seem to have taken forever to get here. This Naga thing's a three-headed snake, isn't it? Stand snakes. Horrible, slimy things. They're not slimy. They're warm and dry if you hold them in your hands. I don't want to hold them in my hands. Look, it's glowing. We must be very close. Fragment of Midas and all this. Rothko said to use the talisman. I see nothing. 
Nothing but diamonds. Well, I can. Quick, let's get out of here. Take it easy, Terry. I don't think it's going to attack us. Attack us? I just want to get away from it. We can't, Terry. The nice is in here. We've got to find it. How can we even start looking for it with that thing in the way? We have to, Terry. You know we have to. All by magic, I suppose. Yes. Why not? Helen, you have the talisman. It protects you. Perhaps our magic will help even more if we change your form. Something on Naga wouldn't notice. It's noticed us, all right. I'll concentrate on it. Try to block its vision. Come on, Terry, think. Change Helen's form. Come on, do it. <coughs> well, what's happened? What have you done to her? I don't know. Helen, you idiot, Terry, what have you done? Well, it's your idea. I'm going to try and bring her back. Hold my hand. Let me work through you. Oh, I'm sorry, Helen. Please come back. Come on, Terry. Turn, Terry. Command it. You will come back. You'll obey me in return. <sighs> what happened? It went wrong. I am sorry. Your brother only turned you into a mouse, didn't he? A mouse? Oh, I hate mice. Creepy little things. Well, now you know how I feel about snakes. But what are you going to do? Rusko, you must get in touch with Rusko. Rusko, 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 Rusko. Oh, Rusko, we need your help. We cannot pass the Naga, Rusko. You must, with all your strength and courage, the talisman will protect you. Use it. How? To and fro, like a clock that measures time. What did he mean? Like a clock that measures time. I don't know. I just want to get out of here. Pendulum. What? He means like the pendulum of a clock. To and fro. It hypnotises. Right. But who's going to do it? This is hidden. Oh. Oh. I no, Prince Agar. It is not for you. You, Golly. As you see, my prince. And there's no power or magic on earth that can deny me my wishes now. What a fool you have been to have come to the temple. The Mandela works against you now. You are undone. Your game is over, and mine is about to start. No, Kali. Even in the Mandalay, you cannot hold the Nidus. Yours is the way of darkness and destruction. Mine is the way of power. True power that has no need of light or darkness. Let my icy embrace, <gasps> chilled by the wind oh. of the Himalayas, freeze you for it. Hurry, children. Hurry. That's it. But where's the Nidus? Rocker said there were two fragments in this time. How do we know they're both in here? We don't. We've got to look in the talisman to see. But that means we can't keep the Naga hypnotized. I think the Naga has it. What? Quick, stop it swinging and let me look. It's coming out of its trance. Is it there? Yes, right on the forehead of the middle snake. Then get it. Wow. Step past me and pluck it out. Hurry. I claim the second fragment. <laughs> ah, what have you done? Not I, Belor. My children have plucked the second part of the Nidus from his hiding place. And I now claim the third. <laughs> But I've still got the... Ah, the Nardis. As you commanded me, great mistress, I have the second fragment. 
We've lost it. We had all three and now we've lost one. We've still got two. What happened? I was holding it and there was music and... Cardrew, come on! Get thee back whence thou came, daughter of darkness! Where are you going? Uh, I, the Prince Sagara, say the nuptial meditation is completed, and I may now leave the temple. But you cannot go until the princess commands it. The princess? Where is she? Be patient, Hydis. She is coming to you. She is most eager to be with you now that the meditation is completed. Indeed. Uh, I wonder, would you mind waiting there for a moment? Oh, dear, oh, dear. I am still doing this thing wrong. Always I get monkeys when I want pigs. Now to slip away. My great prince, at last the waiting is over and tomorrow we are being wed. Husband and wife forever, through all reincarnations until the ending of time. Are you not happy, my great prince? Ecstatic, my flower of the mountains. I do not know how we have waited so long, oh. but before I embrace your charms further, I have to visit the cave of Kadru. But why is this so, Lord of Delights? Uh, there, uh, to, uh, to consult with the, the holy man, uh, to perfect the bonds of pleasure that are to exist between us. Then please hurry, my prince. I am impatient for your arms to embrace me. Oh, and what is this? Uh, a token of my undying affection for you, my little blossom of magnolia, my darling scent of the Ganges. <laughs> Hurry, your oh best beloved. I will. Let true love flower between the maiden and the monkey, and may its course ever run smooth. I command it. <laughs> My little blossom. My towering jacaranda. Can you hear the music? It's so beautiful. I can't hear a thing. It's so beautiful. Just ahead of us. <coughs> Helen, <coughs> come back. Helen! Helen! <laughs> robbed, Cadru. I have been robbed of my piece of Nidus from the great Mandala. But I have a piece here for you, great mistress, from the Cave of Diamonds. I, Cadru, have brought it back for you with the mystery of my music. Even now I hold the innocent one prisoner, and she wears two more pieces about her neck. You have done well, Cadru. <laughs> Play on and lead her to the Pit of Sulphur. <laughs> I think you played a bad note there, Kadru. Oh, master, master, I am... You are? A pig. At last I am doing this thing properly. So he had it. Nidus, be united! I deny you! What's, what's happening? Forward, child! Forward! Forward! Step back, child! Step back! You now have three pieces of the Nidus! Protect them! Helen! Ah! There are still two more pieces to find, and I will win yet, Rothko. You will see! Oh, Rothko, you saved me. Oh, no, 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 no. Not only have you gained two more pieces of the Nidus, but you have saved me from a fate far too terrible to mention. Bello? No, marriage. Now come, your task is not complete. It is time for you 